Sziasztok! Hi everyone! I'm Sándor. Welcome to another beginner Hungarian lesson. Today we're going to learn how to ask where, as well as how to say here and there in Hungarian. We have two sets of each of these expressions to learn, and they go hand in hand. Don't worry, it'll all make sense in a minute. Okay, so when it comes to where, and here and there, we use different words when we're talking about where something is located, or when an action or a command is connected to a location. Let's see the first set of words. So the first where we are going to learn is hol. Hol. It means where. Hol. We use this question word to ask where things or people are. So questions like where is the pen? Where are you? Where do you live? Where is Peter? And when you want to answer with here or there, you use the following words. Here is it. And there is ot, ot, ot. So it and ot are used to express where someone or something is already located. So for example, where is the pen? Hol van a toll? Hol van a toll? The word order is exactly the same as in English. Van is a pretty versatile word. It doesn't always mean is, but in this case it does is the third person singular form of the verb lenni, which means to be. And toll is pen. So if you want to answer, here it is, then you can say it van. It van. It van. Literally, here is. You can also say it van a toll, which means here is the pen. It van a toll. But since we already know from the question that the answer is about the pen, you don't have to say that again. And if the pen is there, you can say ott van. Ott van. There it is. Ott van. Let's see another example. Hol van Péter? Hol van Péter? Where is Peter? Itt van. Itt van. He is here. Ott van. Ott van is there. So once again, the question word hol and the words it and ot are used to ask and to state the location of things or people. We're asking about where things or people are located and we're answering with the right words accordingly. Let's see what happens when an action comes into play. So we have a totally different set of words to ask where and to say here and there when we're talking about actions or commands. I'm talking about questions like where are you going? Where should I put this? Where do the birds fly? And sentences like, I'm going there. You're coming here. And imperatives like, come here or go there. So in this case, the question word where is either hova or hova. Hova? Hova. They are absolutely the same. They're totally interchangeable. Use whichever you want. And here and there in these cases are ide, which means here, and Oda, which means there. Ide? Oda. Let's see some examples. Hova or Hova mész. Hova mész? Where are you going? Hova mész? If you want to answer with I'm going there, you can say Oda megyek. Oda megyek. So I used Hova or Hova to ask about the direction of an action. And the correct way of saying here and there in this case is either ide or oda. Ide, oda. Hová tegyem ezt? Hová tegyem ezt? Where should I put this? Hová tegyem ezt? Tegyem is the imperative form of tenni in first person singular, so it means I should put. So literally, where I should put this. And if I want to answer with put it here, then I'll say Ted ide. Ted ide. Ted ide. Ted is the imperative form of tenni in the U singular form. So put in here Ted oda. Ted oda. Put it there. Ted oda. So your action has a direction. Does that make sense? Or if I want to say come here, in Hungarian it's gyere ide. Gyere ide. Gyere ide. Gyere is once again an imperative form in U singular. It means come. 
as a command, or go there, menj oda, menj oda, menj oda, yes, menj is an imperative in the use singular form, it means go as a command to you. So if your action has a direction, you use ide or oda, and the correct question word is either hova or hova. Before I say goodbye, let me touch on a little bit of a grey area, and that is when we're talking about where an action is taking place. I mean questions like where do you sleep or where do you live? In cases like these, we're actually asking about set locations. So the questions are not about the verbs, it's about the locations where the actions are taking place. So you should use hol and it or ot. For example, hol or sol. Hola, Sol. Where do you sleep? You can just say it here or ot there or hol lux. Hol lux. Where do you live? You can once again reply with it or ot or say the time you're living in, the street you're living in. I'm just giving you examples. Obviously, the right answer can be a lot more than just here and there. The point is, if we're talking about locations where actions are taking place, the question word is still hol, and here and there are still it and ot. Okay, here are three bonus words for you. Honnan. From where? Honnan innen. It means from here. Innen, onnan, from there, onnan, onnan. For example, honnan jön a vonat? Honnan jön a vonat? Where does the train come from? Innen jön a vonat. The train is coming from here. Or, onnan jön a vonat? Onnan jön a vonat. The train is coming from there. Alright, I hope everything makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, feel free to ask me anything in the comment section below. I'm here to help. Thank you all for studying with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you feel like supporting the channel even more, my paper information is in the description. See you all in the next lesson. Sziasztok! A viszontlátásra!